Hi, this is Ben with Ben Hayes Web Sales. Um, I'm just going to do a, a test here of this Peerless 16458 output transformer. This is from a Heathkit W-5M model block. Um, what I'm going to do is get uh, a low AC voltage and run it through the secondaries and measure on the primaries. Um, and I've got some comparisons. I've got uh, two 16309 transformers that are basically, they, they basically substitute for one another. This is the newer version. Um, and these are my voltage measurements um, for my two smaller transformers. And I'm just going to show you that there's consistency there. Um, what I've got going on here is a power transformer with a AC adapter running into it um, because I don't have a variax. So this is going to give me a uh, just a little under one volt AC to run through the secondaries of this transformer. Um, I'm just going to check my leads here. Looks good. So right now what I'm going to do is measure just the voltage that's coming out to show you what, what uh, supply we're working with. So um, there we are, 0 0.907 volts AC is, is what I'm going to be supplying the secondaries. I'm just going to get some leads hooked up here. And what I'm going to be measuring across is um, blue and brown. All right. So I've got um, one lead hooked up to the primary and the other one on green. I'm going to go through the three output colors and we'll just fill in my chart and we'll look at the consistency. So this is 0.9 volts AC um, going through the secondary, and then I'm measuring on the brown and blue wires on the primary. We got 21.26 volts. All right, I'm gonna try the same thing, keeping the common the same. I'm going to move to yellow. Yellow is the eight ohm lead. The, uh, the green that we tested is the 16 ohm lead. So here we are in yellow. 28.31 volts. And finally the brown. This is the 4 ohm lead. 42.32 volts. As you can see, there's obviously a different difference in size. Um, they're designed to be the same spec, but this is a little bit bigger and we're seeing a little bit higher voltages. But overall, those are some pretty consistent numbers. I am confident that uh, this transformer is good. I've also um, measured continuity for, um, between uh, the primary and the secondary windings and everything's good there. I've also taken the lead. Uh, of each of them to the chassis and I had no continuity so I, I believe I don't have any shorts to the to the core to the case or anything like that um, so this transformer should be all set for a drop into your heat kit or a, um, a project that you're working on